everyone. My name is Lina Digolo and I'm the Violence Against Women and Violence Against Children Intersection Lead at the Prevention Collaborative. In this video, we're excited to talk to you about how our new cause, the Supporting Parents and Caregivers, a Prevention Strategy Deep Dive, can help you develop your parenting programs to prevent violence against women and violence against children. Now over to our collaborators to answer a few of your questions. I'm Kate Doyle, a senior associate here at the Prevention Collaborative. I'm Verti Levtov, working with the Prevention Collaborative. I'm Clara Aleman, I'm director of programs at Equimundo, Center for Masculinities and Social Justice. My name is Jane Cato Wallace, and I'm a gender equality and violence prevention specialist working with the Prevention Collaborative and also a senior fellow at Equimundo. What are gender transformative parenting programs? Gender transformative parenting programs recognize how gender inequality and power imbalances between women and men influence parenting practices, including how this can undermine parents' capacity to provide nurturing care to their children, how it can limit children's opportunities, and also contribute to both violence against children and violence against women within the home. These programs therefore seek to intentionally address inequitable gender roles, norms, and attitudes, and to transform power imbalances. How are gender transformative programs effective in preventing violence against women and violence against children? Gender transformative parenting programs support parents and caregivers to adopt more equitable and nonviolent attitudes, as well as develop skills such as positive parenting, stress management, and communication. These programs also improve the quality of the relationship between the parents contributing to reducing violence between them. And we have growing evidence indeed that gender transformative parenting programs can reduce harsh punishment of children as well as intimate partner violence between their parents. Why is it important for parenting practitioners to address violence in their programs? Children need nurturing relationships with parents or caregivers and safe and supportive home environments to grow healthy and to thrive. Yet too many children grow up in homes where they are exposed to violence directed at them, usually in the form of harsh discipline and or to their mothers or female caregivers. 75% of children aged two to four experience violence disciplined from their caregivers regularly. And one in three women experience physical or sexual violence from a partner in their lifetime. Both types of violence have long-term and negative consequences for children's health, development, and well-being. And parenting programs reach and support parents of young children at a critical time in their development and have a unique opportunity, therefore, to reduce their exposure to these two types of violence in the family by strengthening parents' awareness, the quality of their relationships and skills. Yet very few parenting programs explicitly seek to reduce both types of violence against children and women with their content. Failing to address this or these types of violence is a missed opportunity and may even undermine the desired outcomes of these programs. The good news is that emerging evidence shows us that these types of violence can be reduced simultaneously through parenting programs. What are some effective strategies for engaging mothers and female caregivers in gender transformative parenting programs? Traditionally, parenting programs tend to focus almost exclusively on women, and for good reason. Women tend to spend more time raising children than fathers and other members of household. However, what sets gender transformative programs apart is that they question why a household division based on gender exists, they promote strategies to prevent violence, and promote the benefits of gender equal households. Effective strategies to engage women in these programs include highlighting how this program will improve household well being, family harmony, and also integrating these kinds of programs within services women are already accessing, such as in health clinics and community centers. Why should parenting programs engage fathers and male caregivers? 
Gender transformative parenting programs work with fathers and male caregivers alongside women and female caregivers because they recognize that fathers also need to benefit from skills to be able to provide their children with nurturing, responsive care, but also that efforts to reduce violence against children and women require the engagement of men and boys, particularly in efforts to transform and challenge inequitable attitudes and norms that perpetuate violence. How can practitioners effectively engage fathers and male caregivers in violence prevention programs? Father involvement in the life of their children has a profound and long-term effect in their development, yet many children miss out on the full potential of receiving nurturing care from their fathers and other men caregivers. So it's very important to design parenting programs that effectively engage fathers. But how? Well, these are some of the um, forms that could help. First, understanding what men's concerns are around fatherhood, what are their aspirations for their children, the type of relationships they want to have with their children and their couple or co-parent, understanding what barriers they face to support their children and their aspirations, what would they like to learn, from who, in what format, as well as the practical aspects of time and place that works for them. Second, practitioners should design uh, content and methodologies that are appealing and hands-on activities that speak to men's concerns and aspirations, taking into consideration the reality of their scarce time and other structural constraints. They should also motivate them to join a program that will provide concrete opportunities to improve areas of their family life that they care about and that they will benefit their children, and themselves in very tangible ways. Also important is to acknowledge the positive ways in which men are already involved with their children, support them to gain skills to address the problems they are facing in their relationships and parenting, and build their confidence as caregivers. Finally, it's very important to create spaces where men feel heard, where they can connect with others to share experiences with other fathers and feel supported in ways that often are not available to men. In short, we want to engage men from a lens of compassion, acknowledging that many men don't use violence against women or children and want to be better fathers and partners, but also from a lens of accountability, recognizing the harms that many men sustained by a patriarchal system cause to women, children, other individuals, and believing as well in the ability and willingness of men who don't use violence to engage and call out violence that some men use. Does this course explain how to support parents and caregivers in humanitarian settings? People who are caregiving in humanitarian or conflict-affected settings face unique challenges with ensuring the basic safety and well-being of their families. Climate change, the destabilization of democratic societies, ongoing geopolitical conflict, these are all issues that can either intensify gender roles or turn them on their head. While this course doesn't touch upon supporting caregivers in humanitarian settings, mostly because more research has to be done on how to implement such a program effectively, what we can say is that in such settings, we have to take into account the deep trauma parents and caregivers have faced, address their basic needs, including their mental health, alongside delivering important parenting program services. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to learn more about this prevention strategy, then sign up for our course today. Supporting parents and caregivers, a prevention strategy deep dive. See you soon.